Hey, Michael, thanks for doing this. Um, just with the Patriots, you guys saw them just a couple weeks ago. How much, how much is that game still kind of in the back of your head and, and, you know, looking forward to getting another crack at them the way that game went? Yeah. Um, you know, we've definitely been looking forward to it. I feel like, um, and so I feel like it's definitely an important game because it's the next one in division. Um, but, you know, we got to go out and um, continue to show that we're we're still going to play, be able to play our best football, and we still got our best football to come. Um, and that comes with the, the preparation um, and the detail and the execution that we have to be, you know, a little bit better at going into this week. Michael, what did you take out of that last meeting with with New England? It, 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 it felt, you know, it felt like you guys kind of had that game under control for a moment there, and obviously the JFM penalty changed a lot of stuff. Uh, I just think uh, coming out of that game, we had some communication uh, issues, and then that in turn led to some uh, not as good execution on certain plays. Um, and so I feel like that was a kind of a takeaway. We also got to, you know, tackle better and all that stuff. Um, I feel like that was a takeaway from that game, just continue to clean up our communication, and then that will help us uh, be able to execute. Is that a game you feel like collectively you let get away a little bit? Um, you know, there's certain games you kind of know a team, you know, a team has beaten you. You it seemed like there were a lot of self-inflicted wounds in that game for you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of people say, you know, games are lost and not won. Um, and I feel like, uh, you know, New England took advantage of our mistakes, um, uh, like any good team should, and they're a good team. Um, so we just got to be able to execute and, and, you know, not make as many mistakes as we did last game. Michael, what do you think, uh, has been the key to the defensive success this year? Uh, I think just, uh, you know, the book the belief in each other. Uh, we all believe in each other and, and everybody's, you know, ability to get their job done to the best of their ability, uh, play in and play out. Um, I feel like we've all taken it to another level as far as like how we watch film. Um, and then I feel like we've done a good job of communicating with each other throughout the week um, and just having our own meetings outside of with the coaches, um, just going through our communications and and how we can, how we see things. Um, and I feel like that's uh, attributed to uh, our success a lot. Cause you know, when it, well, on Sunday, when it comes, uh, you know, we've already talked about the things we're going to see together. So uh, when, when things start moving and people start moving around, uh, we kind of know, you know, what that other person is thinking. And so we can just play fast. Michael, did you watch uh, football yesterday, and did you pay attention, particular Bills, Dolphins, the division, what, what's going on there? Uh, yeah, I, I saw – I watched the, the Buffalo and the Minnesota game. That was probably one of the wildest, um, you know, endings, fourth quarters, overtimes, you know, I've seen. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's really, like, the only game I really was, like, too locked into the whole time. With them losing, Michael, now, I mean, the division is really tight when you when you look at the standings. Do you guys feel like, you know, the, the division is there for the taking here in the second half? I feel like, yeah, like we have to take it, you know what I mean? Um, we haven't accomplished, you know, what we're trying to accomplish. We got to remain humble in that sense that we're not where we want to be. Uh, we still got work to do, and it's, you know, eight games could – decide it will, it will decide a lot so um you know we just got to keep playing like we got something to prove michael what do you see with this this is obviously a very young team yourself included um as the biggest challenges to finishing this on this second half here i mean you've had obviously a lot of good success the first go round, and you kind of referenced a little bit staying humble and whatnot but what, what are the biggest challenges you see to finish this thing out and, and do get to where you want to go? Uh, I think, uh, you know, as it gets later in the season and, you know, we get a little bit more, um, you know, our bodies wear down a little bit more and things like that. We just continue to, to stay on top of our, you know, our region and all that stuff. Like we were at the, you know, the first half of the season, as well as, um, you know, not losing our, 
intent and how we prepare. Um, and, you know, that's just, you know, staying humble and not getting complacent in where we're at right now. Um, and even when we keep winning, um, just continue to to have that mindset that we're not we're not there yet.